Kids have many ways to express how they're feeling inside. If you have a kid who is cutting themselves or is isolating themselves in their room, it's probably because they are expressing how they're feeling. If you have a kid who may be manifesting some signs of acting out that you're not sure about, please go consult a professional because it is quite likely that they are experiencing a deep disconnect within them. You know, kids feel depressed but don't know what to do with their feelings and so they exhibit their feelings through a wide variety of acting out behaviors. And most of us parents either get angry with the behavior or want to shut the behavior down or suppress the behavior or fix the behavior, but the problem isn't in the behavior. The problem is that the child is having a hard time expressing, managing, and coping with the onslaught of their feelings. It is so chaotic within them, and they don't have the language or the sense of safety to express these feelings in a coherent way, that these feelings then come out in a perverted way, in a way that shows up in acting out behavior. So if you have a child who has acting out behavior, don't get alarmed by the behavior. Don't try to fix the behavior and don't punish the behavior because the behavior is only a messenger, a pointer, an indicator that something within them is awry. And this is where the healing needs to take place within the child. Don't feel afraid to go ask for help. You know, when we see our child suffering, it brings up so much guilt and shame in the parent because we as parents want nothing more than to be good parents. And part of being good parents is to raise a happy child. So when we see our child unhappy, it brings up all these feelings of guilt and shame, which actually stop us from going out and seeking the help that we need. So if you have a child who is in trouble, who is suffering, who is anguished, it has nothing to do with your being good or bad. It just means that your child is struggling and needs help. So don't stop yourself in your own shame, in your own sense of perfectionism, in your own guilt. Go out, outsource, get help. There are a whole tribe of professionals who can help you. Don't be embarrassed to go seek the help you need. This is about your child and not about your ego. Look at your child today. Connect with them deeply. If you feel that they are struggling, that they are floundering, don't be afraid to talk about it. Allow your child to feel safe, to express who it is they are. And if they cannot, then don't be afraid to let them speak to a therapist or a friend or a professional. So if you know someone whose child is struggling or if your own child is struggling, leave a comment below, share this video, and don't be afraid to go seek the help that you need.